Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People, October 7th, 2023. I want to give you an update on this war in Israel, and especially I want to share with you this headline, part of this headline from the Wall Street Journal, where it says, Attack on Israel Struck During Jewish Holiday. Okay, anybody who knows anything about scripture, this should be very, very important to them. This headline is very, very important. Attack on Israel struck during Jewish holiday. The attack on Israel struck during a season of Jewish holidays. The early morning strikes coincided with Simchat Torah coming toward the end of the week-long Jewish festival of Sukkot, which is also known as the Feast of Tabernacles and is a time of autumnal thanksgiving. Why is this important and why is this a fulfillment of biblical prophecy? Attack on Israel struck during Jewish holiday. Once again, I'm, I'm bringing you back to Amos 8, 9, and 10. Here is the information, and this connects us with the eclipse that is happening next Saturday. This is a very clear, I believe, a very clear and definite seven-day warning to the eclipse that is coming next weekend on the 14th of October it shall come to pass in that day says the Lord God that I will make the Sun go down at noon I will darken the earth in broad daylight and I will turn your feasts into mourning and all your songs into lamentation attack on Israel struck during Jewish holiday Simchat Torah celebrates Jewish joy at the possession and observance of the words of the Torah, the Jewish scriptures. Traditionally, it is marked by processions in the synagogue with Torah scrolls. There's usually singing, dancing, and sweets handed out to the children. This is a festival. This is a time of rejoicing. This is a time of eating and dancing and rejoicing. I will turn your feasts into mourning and your songs into lamentation. And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord God, that I will make the sun go down at noon and I will darken the earth in broad daylight. So here we have the feasts of Israel being turned into mourning. The songs of Israel being turned into lamentation. A one week separation from the birth eclipse. October 14th, 2023. I will make the sun go down at noon. The sun is going down at noon exactly over Corpus Christi, which means the body of Christ in Texas before it comes across the Panama birth canal and out of natal Brazil the birthplace this whole picture here represents the birth it's in the constellation of Virgo a woman clothed with the Sun giving birth this is Revelation chapter 12 and now we have the information about your feasts being turned into mourning your songs being turned into lamentation the sun going down at noon all of this is happening right now i wanted to share this specific portion of this prophetic update everyone knows that israel is under attack it's very important to understand that this happened on the last day of tabernacles it's very important to understand that the Feast of Tabernacles is the most joyous feast in the Hebrew calendar of dancing and rejoicing and singing and now being attacked on the last day, the great day of Tabernacles. The feasts are turned into mourning. 
the songs are being turned into lamentation. And in one week's time, the sun is going down at noon. The sun is going to be tar turned dark at noon during the birth eclipse over the Americas from the constellation of Virgo. This is a prophetic update. I wanted to bring this piece of information to you all and I will remain vigilant at my post watching all of these items and bringing the biblical understanding that the Lord gives me from all of the items that are coming out in the news. I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.